Morning, YouTubers. I'm now the Lex here. I think today's date is March the 3rd. <sighs> Haven't done an update video of my tank in a while. Tank is clean. Everybody's happy. I just fed the fish. Let me show you how it's going. Well, I fed the fish on purpose just to show this goby right here in the corner. This goby only comes out when there's food in the area. If not, he stays all day hiding. It's a beautiful fish. He's getting more confidence now and coming out farther. I've had him for like three, four months and he just hides in the hole all day. Kind of cool. This guy's tentacles are all out. Tank is doing great. I've been using the Fritz water salt. I love that salt now. I think I'm going to keep that salt. Maybe I shouldn't have fed before the video because now the water looks all dirty. But. At least everybody gets active and you're able to see what's going on in the tank. It's one of my enemies. Remember I had one that split into four and then one of them split into another one. I bought a green enemy. I don't know why he's all the way down there right now. I'm getting stung. But he'll move back up. I want this guy to get big on me because I'm tired of just seeing red enemies. This guy gets to like, well, both of my big guys get to like over 12 inches. The one on the other side gets to like 14, 15 inches. He's huge. This guy is over 12. He's nice because he got the green top and I got him from this guy that was breaking down 40 bucks can't beat that I just wish he had the green <coughs> polyps like this one over here does had to take out a big chunk of sunny D's because the sunny D's is taking over felt bad plucking out sunny D's but I like my Bam Bams more. You can see at the bottom, they're covering those Bam Bams also. So I'm gonna have to take out some more. So I need these grow too, too fast. One of my firefish, there's the other one. I had 10 in the beginning, and my big eye squirrel fish kept on chasing them. I was finding them jumping out every day. Either he was eating them or chasing them. I also had 10 orange clownfish and same thing happened. I think he was eating them, so I had to get rid of him. My sea fans and my gorgonias and my sponges, everything is doing great. I've been dosing cytoplankton every other day. And I've been feeding reefroids two times a week. So I dose cyto three times a week and reefroids two times a week. Started culturing cytoplankton. I'm trying to keep on getting the cultures and growing and growing and growing. And hey, maybe one day I'll start selling them. I already have enough to sell, but I gotta make more. Or I put some mollies in here. This wasn't in the last video. I put three mollies. Well, there were five. I put two in my other tank. Both of those died. But the ones that I put in this tank, still alive. I don't know what happened. Maybe because I acclimated them on this tank and then I just threw them into the other tank. That could be the reason. It's okay. It's two bucks. Things are starting to really grow now. The lights are just coming on now, so things aren't open as they would be usually. I 
This is the big guy right here. Look at how good my sponge is doing. It actually gets natural sunlight every morning. And it opens up nicely. This guy is working. This guy is always working. Anything that dies, any little shrimps, anything, he eats it. Anything that falls on the floor, any food that's left over, he eats it. My blue Yuma rock. This is where my big orange shoulder sleeps. That's why there's no sand in there because he takes all the sand out. But everything's been doing great. <clears throat> fish are getting huge. I've been um, feeding them on the fish feeder. <clears throat> and I actually, it's my chevron tang. And I actually um, found a different kind of food I've been feeding them for a few months. And that food has made them grow like crazy. Like this guy right now, he's about 10 inches. He's already getting his streamers. I haven't even had him for a year. He was less than four inches when I came and got him. My orange shoulders, he's getting huge. This guy's about another eight, nine inches right here. My yellow tangs are like about three inches. Um, see, I've been fitting on a fish feeder and I've been actually doing something a little bit different. I got tired of paying all that money for saltwater pellets. <clears throat> so I have some, <clears throat> some oxalados and I buy them pellet foods that sink nicely. And I buy the food, which is straight up shrimp. It's just pure shrimp. I get two like one pound bags for $20 on eBay. And they're actually like, they're just straight shrimp. And I do that two times a day on the fish feeder. And I also give them the, the algae that I get off of eBay. Let's see. I buy these algae sheets on eBay for like $18 for like 100 sheets. And then I give them the axolotl food, which is pellets that you can see in here. Just regular pellets. I would push the button, but I just fed them the flakes. I don't want to feed so much. And even in the room fish tank, I mean, everything is doing great on axolotl food. Look it up, people. You can save a lot of money. The bags are pretty big, and you get two bags for 20 bucks. And my water's doing great. My refugium is taking care of everything. I got the UFO. I got the eBay 150-watt UFO grow light, and that shit is growing Cheeto like crazy. Let me show you quickly. <clears throat> I turned off my skimmer last night because I fed some Cyto. I'm, I'm about to turn it back on. I took off my filter socks, no filter socks. I have had filter socks for over six months and the tank has been doing way better. Look at this. And this is usually about a two week growth. I take out more than half a five gallon bucket every two weeks. On this light right here. Switches everywhere. And that's the cidal growing over there in the corner. Turns on for 12 hours a night. It's got an LED light on it. And that's it, as simple as that. That's keeping all my levels where they should be. All right, YouTubers, Arnaldo Lex, out.